This question requires that you understand the relationship between electronic configuration and the periodic table. Start by reading the question, extracting the important information, and ensuring you know what each part means. In this case, after we've read the question, we know we need to determine the full ground state electron configuration of arsenic. This means we need to identify every electron and we can take no shortcuts. So for a simple atom like lithium, we'd write 1s2, 2s1. It also tells us that none of the electrons are in an excited state. We're instructed not to use condensed electron configurations. So to go back to our lithium example, we couldn't abbreviate by writing HE2S1. Whenever you plan to solve a question involving electronic configurations, you should always pull out your periodic table. Remember, it's not just a handy table of elements. Its very structure is underpinned by the way in which electrons occupy orbitals. Next, find arsenic. Recall that the periodic table is made up of four blocks, S, P, D, and F. Because of the quantum number rules, the first electrons in each block are the 1S, 2P, 3D, and 4F. Revise the section on quantum numbers if you've forgotten why. To solve the problem, you just need to start at the beginning of the periodic table. Work your way to arsenic and write down every electron you encounter on the way. It's that easy. The first row contains just two electrons, both in the 1s orbital. We write down as equals 1s2. Let's keep going. We then fill the 2s orbital with two electrons and write down 2s2. The 2p orbitals can contain six electrons because there are three p orbitals write down 2p6. We head back into the s block and add two 3s electrons and add 3s2 to our list. Back into the p block for another 6p electrons, add 3p6. And we're over halfway there. The s block provides two more electrons, 4s2, and we then reach the d block. We add 10 electrons and add 3d10 to our list. And finally, we add three more p electrons, 4p in this case, and round off our list by writing 4p3. Done? Check your answer by adding up all the subscripts. Does 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 10 plus 3 equal 33? It does, so we're done.